Today's video is all about fall decor ideas and I'm showing you how I decorated my apartment for fall 2020. I'm Sophia Lee. I'm a recent college graduate who is obsessed with turning her first apartment into a home. I'm taking you along with me and showing you my best decorating ideas, organization tips, and cleaning hacks so that you can make your apartment look Pinterest perfect while sticking to a budget. I'm here to help you turn your apartment into a place you will love. First up, we have some fall door decor ideas, and there were a few things I did on my apartment front door that just saved me money but also made it look a lot better. So the first thing that I did was I actually made my own doormat and I was having a hard time finding doormats that were under $45. There were so many cute ones on Etsy that I loved but they were just a lot more expensive and I was like, I could probably make this myself. And so I found the bottom black and white striped doormat from Amazon and I will have all of this linked below. But then the actual doormat that says Hey Pumpkin on it, I made. So I have a whole video that shows exactly how I did it, but it's been like a month now and it's holding up really, really well. I was kind of worried about the acrylic paint letters coming off and it still looks great. The second fall door decor idea that I have is to get some foam pumpkins or I don't know if they're foam or like plastic or whatever they are. And to make them look a little more expensive, I actually made or I put gold rub and buff on the stem to make them gold and then white and it just made like a three dollar pumpkin look so much better now I'm hoping that I'm able to get my hands on some actual white pumpkins because these ones I'm worried about blowing away they've been out there for a month and they still haven't blown away but that's just something to consider depending on where you live but this is a trick that I've used throughout my entire apartment to make cheap pumpkins look a lot better and gold rub and buff goes so far. I use it everywhere in my apartment and it's only like $3. And then lastly, where to find cheap fall wreaths. So wreaths are freaking expensive, like no matter what time of the year they are. I had no idea that wreaths were so expensive until recently. So I was able to find this wreath, which I thought was really cute and it was the cheapest I could find by far from at home. If you have an at home by you, go. They are loaded with things. I rarely went to at home before and then in the last like three months, I have gone all the time. I've been able to find so many more things there than like home goods or Marshalls. So check that out, but that's where I was able to find this it was $24, I don't know if I said that, but this um, fall wreath, and then also Target had some cute ones too. So now we're in my entryway, and this was just a little hallway that I have when you come up the stairs from my apartment, and I have some actual like really good fall decor ideas that I did in here. So the first one is to print out fall wall art and frame it. So you can see here, I use these clear frames from Target, and I layered them on top of each other. And then I actually designed these fall wall art printables and you can download them for free on my website. You can print them out. I sent them to a local printer who printed them on cardstock just so it looked a little bit nicer than my at home printer. But um, I have them so you can download them in five by sevens, four by six, eight by tens, basically whatever you want. And they just look super cute and make the space a little more fallish. And then my next fall decor idea that I have for you in the entryway is to just put some leaves in a vase. So I got this vase from At Home. At Home has the best vases right now. They're so pretty for like any time of year. I'm just gonna keep this here for the rest of the year and kind of put new leaves or whatever, <laughs> new uh, florals in it depending on the season. But I found these leaves at Target, actually. And leaves are hard because you they can look super, super cheap. So the best places that I was able to find realer looking leaves was obviously Target. And then Hobby Lobby has some. It looks a little more fake, but Michaels has some also. If you're willing to spend the money on leaves check out pottery barn they have by far the most realistic looking fake florals but they are just a lot more pricey than what i paid for that i am so excited to show you these fall kitchen decor ideas because i was able to do 
some really easy things that look, or at least I think they look really, really cute. So here are some fall decor ideas that you can do in your own kitchen. And the first one is on how to decorate your countertops or like your island. So I have a pretty big island in my apartment kitchen. And what I did is I found a really large white, what is it even called? I forget every word when I'm filming videos, but it's a large white like cutting board, but it's prettier. And then I have it layered with another smaller black one. So the large white one I was able to find from home goods and it was like $29 which I will use at year round that'll be perfect for when I front over and have appetizers and then the black one is from Hobby Lobby and that was 50% off so I got it for like $12 so I have those stacked on top of each other and then the salt and pepper bowls are something that I'm also just keeping out all the time those are from at home and then I got this little white or this glass that was like four dollars from at home as well and these little gold and white pumpkins and these are the cutest pumpkins I actually did the gold rub and buff tip on this one as well and these small pumpkins are from Michaels and then I have a white vase that I put some fall it looks like dried eucalyptus leaves and those are from Hobby Lobby. So that's how I decorated the island and just made it look a little cuter. Another way I decorated my kitchen for fall was I got these wreaths from the dollar section at Target. They were only $3 each and they have them in orange as well. And I just tied a little or I actually hot glue, but I just got a little ribbon from Michaels and then put them on every single one of the chairs and I just think it adds a little cute touch and it was super inexpensive to do since it was just from the dollar section at Target. This is one of my favorite corners in my kitchen and I love it and I'm probably going to keep it looking like this with obviously like different things for the different seasons because I just think it looks really, really good. So I was able to find this gold frame from Goodwill and to give it new life, I got a bright white mat, which you can just buy at Michael's. And then for the picture inside of it, that's another one of my free wall art prints that you can download for free on my website. And like I said before, that link will be in the bio. So that's how I did that. And then the gold skull is from Home Goods. I think it was like $12 and I just love skulls. I don't know why for the fall season and for Halloween I love skulls, but I do. And then the vase is from Home Goods and I was able to find that floral. I don't even know what it's called, but that was from Michaels. So the last thing I did was just add some cute dish towels and I was able to find the best dish towels from Home Goods, but it was also mixed in with a ton of tacky ones. So you just kind of need to watch out, but these were like $4 and they just have little bats on them. And I feel like it gets the fall point across without being in your face. Next up, we have the fall living room decor ideas. And I really didn't go all too all out in here, like at all, I actually kept it super minimal. So the first fall decor idea that I have for you is to put a wreath on your mantle. Duh, that's like a very obvious one. I got this wreath from, or garland, not wreath. I got this garland from Target and I got two of them so that it could kind of extend down. Yes, I do realize that the middle kind of looks like a bush. It's fine, we're fine, whatever. It's gonna have to just work. Um, and then I also included a little tray that I put pumpkins in to just kind of decorate it and add a little more pizzazz to it, I guess. I have a really tough time decorating this fireplace for the holidays or at really any time because the mantle is so high up and it's really close to the TV, so there's not a lot of room to decorate there. So this is kind of not the only option, but the best option that I was able to find. And then on my coffee table, I kept that really simple too. I just added one of my favorite home goods candles. These are the best candles, the sensational ones, along with the sand and ash candles, I believe it is. If you go to home goods or Marshalls, 
or TJ Maxx, pick one of those candles up. They will smell up your entire apartment and it smells amazing. And I love that this one is Sweet Pumpkin. I believe so it matches my decor well it also smells very fallish and this candle will last me the entire season because it is so dang big and then lastly we have this little console table which is by behind my couch really didn't do too much to here at all I actually need to just decorate this whole thing I kind of just plop things on here so that will be another video that will be coming out soon on how I'm decorating this but all I did was I just put these pumpkins and some more little pumpkins. These are all from Target. And then I just have this candle which smells unreal. It, what scent is it? Pumpkin pie. Oh my God, it's like crazy. It smells so good. And this is just also from Target. This is like the only really orangey pumpkin looking thing that actually looks like a pumpkin that you'll see in my apartment. Besides, I guess, the garland is very orange too, but I like everything being more neutral. So this just smelled so good that I, I literally didn't even care. And it's like mercury glass. So I thought it was a little cuter than a normal orange pumpkin. And lastly, we have my bathroom. And so this is what I did for my fall decor in my bathroom. I kept it really, really simple. I just added a few pumpkins and a candle on the left side of the sink and then on the right side of the sink. I have this situation. I don't, I don't know what you would call it. And I just had this little gold vase thing. So I just stuck a few florals or pompas. Why do I keep thinking they're called pompas? I don't know if they're actually called pompas, but that's what I keep thinking. <laughs> and then I added a cute hand towel, which is just from Home Goods. And then that's it. That's all I did, did in the bathroom, but I feel like it looks really cute and still completely gets the point across of fall. That was some fall decor ideas and what I did for my to decorate my apartment for fall 2020. I hope that that inspired you and just showed you some inexpensive ways that you could decorate. I really did try to keep this pretty inexpensive. I know personally, obviously, that all of this stuff really, really adds up and I feel like you can stay on a budget while still making it look really, really good. For more decorating ideas, organization tips, and cleaning hacks, follow me on Instagram at Lee and subscribe to my channel.